Hi, in this exercise, you will learn how to send a list of employee names to an email by using the email sender snap from the snaps catalog and by using a valid email account that you want the list of employees sent to. The sample pipeline for this exercise is for a mergers and decisions use case. When a company is acquired, HR receives a CSV file containing employee information from that company and wants to route a list of employees to department heads for review, including customer success, general and administration, sales and marketing, and engineering. For this specific exercise, the list of employees for the engineering department will be sent to an email instead of writing it into a file. To use this exercise, go to the pipelines catalog and copy and save the sample pipeline from the shared folder and save it into your own project. And it will look like this. Once you have saved it, go to the file reader and make sure that you have uploaded the employee records CSV file from the shared folder. Once you have done that, what you want to do is go to the engineering branch and delete the file writer snap and the Excel formatter snap. We will go into the snaps catalog to find the email sender. And we will drag it over to the canvas. The snap will open up and will ask you to add an account. You will need to put a label and you can put my personal email, provide an email ID and a password to that valid email. The password will be encrypted. For the server domain, you would want to use the SMTP server domain name. And for Gmail, it will be smtp.gmail.com. And for the port, it will be 465 if it's a Gmail account. For a secure connection, keep it as SSL. Now go over to the views and what we want to do is delete the output and add an input. If you want to receive information from the sort snap that we will connect to later. Now let's go over to the settings view. We will enter all the information. Provide the subject line, which is an A exercise. For the email type, we want to choose HTML table. Now for the template body for this exercise, what we want to do is go over to the snap block documentation and find the email sender page. We will scroll down and copy and paste this example template and paste it here. And then over to the table data path, we want to add a dollar sign. Now we want to save it and close the view and we're ready to connect the snap to the sort snap. And let's validate it. Now this pipeline is validated and ready to be executed. You can click on the execute button to execute this pipeline. For more information, please visit community.snaplogic.com. Thank you.